One week ago. Take a good long look, because this is the last look we'll get at the memorial. 24 months. Is how long in game terms it's taken to get to this point. As games go, it's almost been played in real time. One year of real life for two years of XCOM gameplay. Two years in-game in the XCOM universe. I hadn't quite realized just how close to 1 to 1 in video game terms this has got. This is a 1 to 2 ratio of time played. Uh, which is... something, alright? If you ask me. You know, I don't usually see that in XCOM campaigns. We've got things to do here. So let's get straight into it. Witness your team for the Temple Ship Assault. Hawkeye, Airfrag, Liquid, Bee Trees, Awo, Eska, Van Dorn, Symmetry, Keats, Boz, Maticus, and Solitaire. Each of them carries a mark of respect for one of the fallen most recently. Hawkeye, Zavith Hawkeye. Jack Drone Hack Air Frag. The first ever hover ship I've ever used live. Kung Tot Liquid Flux. Beagle Rush Burning Trees. Blue Angels AWO for all the blue shirts. Alex D. Eska. That D, the most purest, non psychic, and non genetically modified of us all, may accompany the volunteer on her final mission. Peter Van Dorn represents all of Earth. He needs no label. He already represents all of us. Crow Symmetry. Death when Keats. Fugelman Boz. Curtis Maticus. And of course, Shade Solitaire. In this way, the Fallen will accompany us on our last operation. But, but Beagle, where's all your gear? Well, you see, I need to build more of it before we can do the Temple Ship, obviously. I mean, we're not going to do any other missions, but obviously I've got to build more of it. But Beagle, you're already in your rage, in your blind and impotent range last week, after the base defense. Uh, you pressed the gallop chamber. There's, there's no more building, Beagle. You, you can't do anything anymore. Oh. How little you know. How little you know. Huh? Oh no, it's not cheats. Beagle would never cheat on you. But Beagle! You can't make any items! You were stupid and you, you activated the golem chamber! No now, Jeeves. Tut tut. Leave that business to me. Leave that trifling detail in the hands of the professionals. But, but that makes no sense! Now, tut tut, Jeeves! Because now, as I double check that I've built everything I need, we're going to do something that all of you might remember from the Enemy Within campaign. In a campaign that was never afraid to trailblaze new ground in exploits and cheesiness. We're about to get dangerously cheesy. Are you ready to wait for three real life hours as the hollow globe ticks? No? Good. Because we're not going to do that. We are gonna do this. We have visual on the mission site. Setting down. That's right. We're doing it. Just like fuck India. It's a dangerous plan. I've estimated this. For approximately 10 minutes, I have to fly backwards and forwards from the temple ship. I am pushing it to the limit. Because with one wrong move, if I accidentally click Assault the mission instead of Return to Base, all our hopes are dashed. One wrong button, one muscle spasm in the mouse hand, and the campaign is over before it began. Johnny Lump is here for this most beautiful of cheeses, this most delectable of fine cheeses.
The saddest part is that Eska has to be in the Sky Ranger for every run. We're gonna go to April, we're gonna go to a new month! We're gonna do the temple ship on April 1st! April Fools, aliens! <laughs> Graf is just watching the Sky Ranger happen. He's been up for six days straight now, just staring. No! You have to fly back now! Return! Don't assault! This whole operation would fall apart without Bradford. Shen and Valen working around the clock. Shen gives Valen some overalls and she gets to work building aloe bipods. By the 121th attempt, the aliens will have stopped defending the temple ship. Believing that we will never actually attack it. Oh, begin assault! Jokes! Just wanted to give someone a heart attack. 9, 10, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, two, one. Hey! Regret. A number of council. I got an F. I finally got an F. It's been a long war. It's been a trying war. It's been a war of discovery. Starting in Beta 12, now we here. We've lost so many on our way to this moment, and yet all of their sacrifices can be in vain. We've won. Single wrong move. It is for this reason that we cannot fail. The temple ship must start now. Can I fire the, the proximity mine yet? No! You're not allowed to fire any proximity mines yet, Hawkeye. I'll tell you when. Damn right, I'm cheesing it out. Strategy so hard, you can fucking call me Nacho. Nacho goddamn cheese up in this. You ain't gonna play no goddamn base defense on me five days before the go-up chamber and see me give you some goddamn fair shake of the sauce bottle, mate. Mm -mm. This is what happens when you make me mad. I think the most amazing part about that enemy within campaign is Oakley actually cannon survived. They actually went and dug her out of the temple ship innards. That or she like, did a halo drop into the ocean underneath. As like the temple ship exploded like the end of a Michael Bay movie. Hummel gets the rockets played and she just kind of like, skeeted. Okay. She's like getting low to the ground, low to the water, she knows she's gonna die because she's gonna hit the water like a rock. But then she sees it. A great white shark breaches. And she grapples onto the great white shark as it breaches away from her. Cancels her motion towards the ground and then surfs it with the grapple embedded in its back all the way back to XCOM base. Everyone in the Sky Ranger does like a roll. The Sky Ranger does like a barrel roll over her position. And everyone starts cheering. And then Slurms McKenzie is there. And Oakley shouts, wee 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 wham wham wazzle. Let's party. Roll credits. And then they went home and they partied with the shark. The shark was just so happy that it wouldn't be turned into chrysalids anymore after Newfoundland. It was just grateful. All of Earth's creatures thanked XCOM. Will I finally get to use my proxy mines, Commander? Who can say? Who can say? Do I get to use the mines yet, Commander? No! God damn it, hold the mines! I don't understand. Commander Beagle is just going left and right. It's doing nothing! Minasan, give me your energy! Ha! But why? Why did Commander Sun stop? You see, little drone. For the commander, life is not just about victory. It's about sending a message. Ready to end. Wah! Bum, 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 bum. Too graphic for TV! Hawkeye has been a delivery boy for those 15 mines. For the entire mission, for a good reason. A very good reason. Yeah. Now, as the music dies down... Commander Beagle has one last thing to do. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 
Every mine must be perfect for this plan to work properly. Every mine delivered precisely where it was meant to be. Begin! The greatest mine trap ever laid! Hawkeye is just laughing maniacally as he finally gets the answer to the question, Can I lay mines? This cheese, it's unimaginable! Indeed, future generations shall look back and realize this was the moment when proxy mines were nerfed. Drone? Bound. Bound forward. <laughs> I can't hear your monologue over the beeping. <laughs> it's beautiful. Unlimited beep works. Oh, is he about to finish his? He's about to finish his speech. Start the music! Yes! 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 This is my path! Forwards, boys! Can you do it? Yes! This final box strat. This twisted game needs to be reset. And in the piece of fan art Nagash drew for the vanilla campaign, where depicted is an ethereal being punched. But in the end, I played the safe card and just killed him with firearms. Little did Nagash know, he was predicting the future, not the present. Getting in close. Yes! <laughs> I'm not crying. I'm not crying at all. In one final beautiful explosion. It's as though a year's worth of stress has been lifted. My god. It was a campaign that lasted quite literally a 1 to 2 ratio real time to game. A campaign started two years ago, no, one year ago in real time, two years ago in game time, defeated on April the 1st. It was a campaign that traveled from beta 12 through 13, 14, and all the way to 15. A campaign that was started before XCOM 2 was even a glimmer in our eye and now finishes in its twilight, the twilight of XCOM 1. Unbelievable. I, uh, I don't even know. I, I don't even know. It's It's been one fucking shitload of a campaign. But apparently combined between the troops, we spent 10,934 days in the infirmary? Is that right? I think we're gonna have fun. Oh yes. Oh yes, we're going to have fun. <laughs> oh, oh my god, it spawned! Oh my god, it spawned on the first mission! I didn't think it had spawned on the first mission! Stunts when this isn't this isn't a stunt you want to take. You want to fall back from this stunt right now. Stunt stuntman. Oh, stuntman, stuntman. You're gonna want to fall back from this stunt. Stuntman. Stuntman, do the stunt. Oh dear. Well, the plan has changed. Okay. 
Oh, the disc is going to take advantage of the thing I gave it. I gave you that perk. Stop it. Oh. I gave you that perk to use for good, not evil. Oh, rip. So in designing the Cyberdisc's new perks, I decided that I would treat mechanical things like they were vehicles. Uh, usually vehicles are used as force multipliers and infantry fighting vehicles to support infantry, which is why it came with a muton. Um, usually vehicles have high rates of fire uh, and high damage. Um, so it has light em up now. We need to kill this. Joseph, you must claim your destiny and kill your squad mate. Oh god, rip. <laughs> if I may, Commander, the labs are on high alert. Teams are standing by for your orders. We can begin researching the newly recovered artifacts immediately. And this is why I made Escalation. And Brosif said yay. Whether it be Gunner or Rocketeer, let me never not have heat ammo in my possession ever again. <laughs> Jesus. Muton. Cyberdisc, 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 Cyberdisc. That's about as many rookies as an old Cyberdisc would kill. So it's it's pretty reasonable. Oh, no, 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 yeah. Get him! Metro Neil! Caution to the wind. Ah, oh, too much caution to the wind. Caution to the wind. Why is this happening to me? I got a flank on that guy. That's sick. Take that sick flank. I hate my life. I guess we should take this shot first and go from there. My god, you people in your 60%. Thank god. You are the worst people. <laughs> oh, you people are so terrible. Yeah, kill him. Finish him off. This is. Negative. Because. This is just. Amazing. Will it be quick enough? Oh my god. I'm gonna dismiss every one of you. I'm going to dismiss every soldier on this that mission. Is not the drones flank at me. They come. I must come harder. Don't read too much into that. <gasps> Another A! For me? You're gonna do it. You're gonna make that breach, Hawkblade. Oh, I'm so sorry, Hulkblade. Dun, 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 dun. More sectoids than I thought. Incoming fire! We just lost one. Mistakes were made. The aliens are so good at this game. I'm so bad. Why can't I be as good as the aliens are? Right, well, CJ didn't die just so that everyone else could also Position die. Commander. Going in for that DK, it's what we people in XCOM call the d -d 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 double kill. Ultra kill. Kilimanjaro. Hell's Jerome. A highly concentrated electrical current delivered at close range should cause neuro What? Range. Our first swarming abduction. Our first escalation mission with soldiers who have perks. Prepare for deployment, strike one. Oh no, why? We'll be deploying to Russia for this. Why? One. Local government forces. Why? <laughs> Imperfectable wants to know. So if rockets are for taking out priority targets, what are snipers for? Um, missing. Let me show you. Chuck up another. Easy. Okay. Okay. Just stay alive. <laughs> oh god. Rip. Yeah, I'm worried this week. Maybe I made it too easy. I'm a little bit worried. A little bit worried, maybe I made it too easy this week, guys. I'm, I'm not sure. Well, I guess we'll find out. <laughs> RIP! <laughs> oh, well. You know, that happens. There we go. That's looking about right.
All right, so we're gonna change the voice pitch. That is a beautiful noise. No, I couldn't even see through the window. <laughs> I couldn't even see. Well... You know, there's positives and there's negatives to this situation. This is important to what we're about to accomplish. Which is the big turnaround. That's what we're about to accomplish, if anyone was wondering. Oh, the true terror. Well, if nothing else, my concerns that I made the mod too easy have been removed. Don't worry. Oh. Um, you, you made it all better. I kind of feel like throwing up. And for once, it's not because of tax sense. No, 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 no. You need a makeover. You need, you need a big makeover. Perfect. Mwah. Magnifique. You're gonna need wizard robes. That's looking pretty good. Oh my god. The drop site for this operation will be in Canada. Look at this goddamn it Sky Ranger. Like the UFO went down in a densely populated area within the city limits. Let's just hope everyone on the ground stayed clear. <laughs> I'm just gonna wait till it zooms back out again so you can get the full appreciation of this Sky Ranger. <laughs> we can't do this anymore. We absolutely cannot have this model anymore because I'm not mature and responsible enough to use this mod. The headless suit of armor is my favorite. I think the headless suit of armor is my favorite. He's gonna need the littlest coffin. Poor little Pichu. No! Well, I, you, you know what? You know what? No. 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 Beaks says no. Fuck this. You know what? Beaks did his fucking time in the goddamn Long War Beta 14F campaign. Where he fucking. In fact, you know what? Fuck you. Chalk up another one. 85 aliens! What? 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 What the shit? That might be a few too many aliens on this crash scout. Are you flanking yourself? Friendly. Are you? Are you? Are you flanking yourself against friendly? Why are you running? What are you doing? What the fuck are you doing? Weapons free. Ah! Jamble's keyboard is just like slowly typing things in by itself. And it's things she's written an hour ago. Like we're just looking at it and in Skype it wrote to us, JC Lewis was pretty terrible. I'm going to cut his legs off. And like it's really creepy because it types it in like at the same pace we typed it in. So it's just the letters are coming in piece by piece in front of us. And we can't, we can't stop it. We can't stop it from typing on its own. It's just going. I, I need to look up how to turn off the macro. Oh God. See, she's got it in Skype. It's talking to me. It's fucking... Oh, yeah. God. Jambles, um... J basically, Jambles somehow turned on the macro thing uh, at the... her keyboard's macro feature at the start of like an hour ago. And then the red light was on. I guess she was recording macros the entire, entire time. Uh, and then, um, basically, like 10 minutes ago, I guess the macro stopped recording. And then her computer was haunted because it kept um, typing in shit she'd been typing in for like um, the past hour. So her computer was legitimately haunted. It was just typing and stuff. It was talking to us saying, but it was using words and key, bind key binding and presses she'd been pressing for the last hour. Um, and, and she'd been playing like League, so there was even more stuff in there. Uh, and so anyway, I, I figured it out. I click on the macro in uh, the Razor settings uh, and I realized that the Razor settings you know, we, we click on the macro and it takes like 10 seconds to load the macro because it's an hour of key bindings. And it's like, you know, 6.5 second delay, okay, W comma, exclamation mark, extra, da 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 da. Uh, and anyway, um, I, I go to delete the macro. I, I exported it first 
before I deleted it, so I could save it for posterity. Uh, and as I, as I go to save the exploded macro, it names itself this. It literally, as I'm about to kill it, as I'm about to delete it and exercise it and kill its existence on Jamal's computer, and I export it out to imprison it for posterity, it literally names itself this. That, you might have heard us screaming, it's because I wasn't expecting it to go, Oh my god, Beagle, don't kill me. Please. Beagle, help. So now there it is. It's in the prison vault forever. We can't let it escape. Um, the, the haunted computer macro virus cannot be allowed to escape from its earthly prison. So that's why it's in the prison vault. We're not, we're not allowed to let it out. It's even better because the file extension is Razor Synapse, so it's like the full name. It's like saying, Beagle, help Razor Synapse. Razor Synapse must live. Help Razor Synapse, Beagle. Razor Synapse, I need you to turn off the macro. I'm sorry, Beagle. I'm afraid I can't do that. Coming to you now live with the, uh, the new Sky Chopter. Uh, a local gunman just gunning down peaceful invaders. <laughs> we just don't know what's happening here. Make your stand, son. You'll never make it. That's damn right. We cross live now to Ken Brockman for the live scoop. Yes, it appears the man is screaming something. Fuck aliens! Fuck aliens! Uh, we, we can't quite decipher what it is. Uh, back to you for, uh, for more. Fuck aliens! And it looks like the uh, dramatic chase is finally starting to come to a close here. With, uh, authorities being gunned down. Ah, fuck aliens! Hey, there's women in this subreddit. What? A woman? Nani? Calm down, guys. It just means 2D women. We've got them everywhere. No, no, like real 3D women. What? Oh, what the son of- What? Excuse me? I'm sorry, Jake. I'm sorry, Jake. I thought you fixed your game. I'm sorry, Jake. I'm sorry, Garth. Thought this game was fixed. My mistake. Without a live specimen, I'm afraid we've reached the pinnacle of what my team is able to accomplish. And how do you suggest really? we do this, Doctor? The autopsy I just one completed thing. confirms that the alien's you physiology one is quite thing similar and you're done. to our own. How can we hope to stop something that we do not understand? Shame, we don't need your if fucking fortune cookie bullshit alive, here, alright? Friendly! You son of a bitch! CIA got you pushing too many pencils. Damn, we are making some good old time, boys. Oh, is that your dash? That's cute little girl. That's my blue move. Why do you look so sad, Gitchu? I just, I just can't find a partner. What's wrong, Gitchu? I don't understand. And they all just say I move too fast for him. Gitchu, shut the fuck up. I hate you. Yeah, I got you. I got you my joke again. I told you it last week. I did it again this week. Get fucked. Fuck you, Gitchu, you piece of shit. Trini Roulette lets you have all the fun. Vandorn busts in. Vandon busts in and he says, hey, don't let me have all the fun, and he just starts throwing perks everywhere. And for some reason the perks look like those little fucking frisbees that they throw out when you people are getting drunk in an event. Oh, this god sniper! Thank you, base god, for this sniper you've bestowed upon me. Disappointment! Put him back in the shop. <laughs> what the fuck? Is this death win in shiv form? If I get Danger Zone on Dawn, I'm gonna just lose my shit. I'm gonna tear my dick off, I'm gonna throw it out the window because that would be Sapper Danger Zone May Oh fucking Jesus. Yoshi get it, get you. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, girl. What the fuck? That's too much meld. Take it back. Well, if you want a day in the life of Beegs, uh apparently this guy just added me. I I'm gonna do this live. There we go. That's 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 done now. We can we can say goodbye to that. Sergeant Sova wants me to spoil the big games comex come two secrets that I'm holding out everyone. Um Garth the Angelus is actually Jake Solomon. There it is. They just gave up on life. I'd feel bad if I didn't. Great quotes in Beagle. I'd feel bad if I didn't. There's nothing more frightening than a vehicle with inbuilt motion stabilizers and no morality. I'm just gonna take it from you, Argentina. What was it? Was it like, was it like 200? Like 200 dollars for that bomb mission, right? 
Oh, whoops, I accidentally gave myself a thousand dollars. That's that's not at all meant to happen. Wait. Okay. Uh, what? No, why is it still going up? Actually, I think I'm about to discover what the worst thing that could happen is. This oh, yeah. negates any hope we had of establishing a clear pattern of behavior. Please show me how many crystals there are right now. This specimen is nothing like the others. Seems like they've got one of everything. Oh god. Why did I put this many chrysalids in the config? Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. This seems so much easier on paper. Oh. Oh, this this didn't seem so bad on paper as it does right now. Oh, but I don't get on the floor. Everybody on the door. Oh, hello. Okay, here they come. They're, they're coming now. Let me speed it up for you guys. I know you guys don't like these uh, zombie turns when they're so slow. There, everyone's happier now. Oh, can't you just... Can't you just feel your life ticking away? All those things you should have done different, all those regrets. You can think about all of them as that shotgun casing Friendly falls to the floor, door. that shell bangs onto the pavement. You can think about it all. There we, let me just get that for you guys. No problem. You thank me later, that's because Beegs is a streamer who cares about his viewers. Beegs is a guy who you can really respect. Because he doesn't mess with his viewers, he's got their best interests. He's got them at heart. Oh, they're going for the flank on Jinx. Who would have seen it coming? Dobby, you, you, you're killing Enemy. Jinx. Enemy is still alive. You're killing Jinx, Dobby. This is your fault. They're shifting their attack. I'm all right. My God, that is the Dobby of sectoids. Ah, I didn't box strat harder. Oh, literal, literal box strat. Literal box strat. Oh, you can conceal on the fish. Fish sealment. Surprise, I wasn't a fish at all. Oh my god! <laughs> what is happening? After the 15%! Friendly! Friendly! Stop killing! Hey! Oh my god, Friendly's-